Yo guys, we back some obviously content and today I'm going to be doing a Does It Deserve Your Kaku over the new Toru Mutsuki who was on the global version. She was out on JP I think about half a month ago, a month ago, something like that. It wasn't anything crazy long ago. Uh, and she is a very, very, very hard hitting unit. One of the hardest hitting units in the game actually. So let's get right on into this and why I think this is probably one of the festival banners that you should definitely most likely summon on if you're after a good hard hitting unit. But if you have Anniversary Kaneki and Anniversary Arima, it's really an optional thing, but it's one of the optional ones that is actually really, really good. But do be advised, there's a really nice looking Toka, so if you're a fan of Toka or you're not a fan of this character at all, uh, there's a new Toka that will be here within probably a month or two uh, that's currently on the, well not yet even on the JP version, but it's going to be there. Also there's a Uta that's been released art-wise, and maybe we'll get a dual Fez where we'll get Toka and Uta on one banner, or it could be separate banners. And that could just be the art being added really early, like the Ray Ayato. Anyway, so on to Toru Mutsuki. And if we go ahead and take a look at the conflict stats, which I'm gonna read first, increases allied squad's attack speed by a plus two for 32 seconds. So conflict skills not really worth much. Uh, but 14k almost, so 13.3k HP. I do believe that's 540 defense, and the attack stat is 1.6k. And that's of course after being 10 out of 10, but still, that's a really, really high attack stat. So if you get this unit 100%, you will get increased damage versus bleeding characters by two times. So nothing crazy on 100% wise. The first ability is a plus 2k health. The second one's attack up. The third one I do believe is increases evasion rate by 30%. And the fourth one is increases your damage versus ghouls by 1.6 times. So let's go ahead and go on into the details now and take a look at the skills. It's another awakening unit. They're just piling these on, but it's a good thing because it means you only need to pull one dupe of this unit. Anything after that doesn't matter, so I'll go ahead and read the level 1 skill, or uh, the first skill at level 2. I don't ever read the level 5s unless there's a specific reason to have them, but it deals 1.5 times damage to one enemy 6 times, and it is durability by 4. So, nothing crazy there, even with dupes it doesn't get crazy, no one cares about that school, uh, skill, toss it aside, who cares. Now, on to the awakening skill, it is activates awakening status, 2 times your attack, and 2 times the skill gauge fill rate for three turns. So it's a three turns awakening, which is very, very good. It's nothing crazy like Anniversary Kaneki or Arima, but at the same time, sometimes you don't want units that stay in their awakened form. You like being able to go from awakened to not awakened, like Bida Hinami, for example, is a very good unit that you may want to use the first skill of a lot instead of just the second awakened skill. So it's a good thing it goes back to its normal form. Anyway, onto its skill after being awakened. It is inflicts bleed on vertical enemies three times, or uh, enemies, for three turns, so it's not a chance, it's a guaranteed bleed, and deals attack 1.8 times damage for all enemies six times, and reduces durability of one enemy by seven. So it's a durability down unit, really hard hitting, and it causes bleed. So bleed's taken care of, durability down's taken care of, and everything. It just it's a well-rounded, really hard hitting unit, high attack stat, very, very good. Now, the reason why I'm saying summon on this banner if you haven't summoned on a festival in forever is because just take a look at everyone that's going to be on this banner. This banner has a quite a few selection of units. So, uh, oh, wrong one. We don't need to look at warm up period. Speaking of, there's so many notification maintenances, I don't remember them all stacking like that. It's almost like they're just not cleaning them out. So, what I want to look at here is the Toru is here. That's the main character. And if we keep scrolling down, we should be able to see. We have half Kakuja, we have Tsukiyome, we have Psycho, we have Rize, we have Haru, we have Inami, we have Yuri, we have the Devil Ape and the Kaya, we have Shirazu, we have Taki, we have Ghoul Heisei, we have Arima, we have uh, Wounded Kaneki, we have a Nakira, we have a Juzo, we have a Jason, another Akira, Wounded Kaneki, which is, oh, not Wounded Kaneki, Jacket Kaneki, worst unit in the game, by the way, basically. Uh, Fez unit wise, and then we have Toka and we have Dual Blades Amon. There are so many festival units in this, so if you haven't summoned on a festival in forever and you've only been doing exclusives, you have some Kaku stacking up, or if you want to buy Kaku, this is your chance to get just a bunch of festival units. If you're looking for festival units, and this Mutsuki is also guaranteed on the seventh step. This is the banner to go for. You could pull the new Psycho, which came out just a couple weeks ago on Global. You could pull any festival that's on this banner. Really, really good festival still. There's Haru, there's Taki, there's... Gohaisei isn't crazy, but he's still cool to have. Uh, have Kakuja once again, not crazy. But if you want any of those units, 
pull on this banner because the fifth step you're guaranteed one festival exclusive character and on the seventh step you're guaranteed one festival mutsuki and the third step so one ssr guaranteed and who knows what you pull in the other steps maybe you'll pull more than one in a step maybe you won't but at least you're guaranteed one festival unit and one mutsuki so very very nice overall now with the fifth multi that one festival could be a mutsuki so you could just pull only mutsukis but it's not that likely so you're gonna need i do believe it's 300 kaku in order to go all seven steps and you're gonna want to go all seven steps anyway as i was saying i forgot what i was saying exactly anyway so point is very good banner if you have the kaku haven't summoned on a festival in forever this is the banner for you to go ahead and summon on don't really expect any sort of crazy festival units to be releasing. This is currently the best, but do keep in mind there is one exclusive banner you've already summoned on a festival account recently. You may want to wait off. And he's nothing crazy, but he's still pretty good, and that is the Yuri. That exclusive should be coming sometime after Toru, but who knows when. We may have a bunch of repeat banners before that releases, or it could be the very next banner, or we could have a completely different banner entirely. You know, who knows about this game? But point is, it's a very good banner, so if you were thinking about it and you really want to summon, this is the banner for you to summon on, because you're going to get, uh, hopefully, at least a few festival units. So, overall, yeah, definitely a banner worth summoning on. Very good unit, full of festival units, and yeah, just overall, the banner you probably should definitely summon on. Anyway, so, I don't know how I have nine rewards here, though. Oh, four story rewards, that's why. I, am I done with the story? Because they added more story, by the way, if you didn't know. They added more hell mode of normal. Okay, so I need to do 12. Anyway. Uh, I am out for now though. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you find it helpful. And uh, keep it peaceful. I'm out. See you. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, I'm out. See you.